A function ft is shown in the figure. You can see the waveform of function ft and we are required to comment about the nature of Fourier transform f omega and f omega is the Fourier transform of function ft. Function ft or signal ft is having the Fourier transform f omega and we need to comment about the nature of f omega. There are four options and we will choose the correct option using xt x omega pairs and this question is taken from gate 2014 electrical engineering paper. So let's move to the solution of the question. In order to comment about the nature of f omega we need to find the nature of ft first. So we will analyze the given waveform and we will find the nature of signal ft. You can see signal ft is having real values. So signal ft is a real valued signal and now we will find out whether signal ft is an even signal or an odd signal. So we will take the waveform of signal ft and we will perform the operation time reversal and in time reversal operation we flip the signal waveform about the y-axis and after performing the time reversal you will have the waveform like this t will be replaced by minus t so we will have f minus t as our function and now we will perform the operation amplitude reversal and in amplitude reversal operation we will flip the signal waveform about the time axis or the x-axis so when you flip the signal waveform about the time axis you will have the waveform like this and this is the waveform of minus f minus t now compare these two waveforms waveform of signal ft and waveform of signal minus f minus t you will find they are same so ft is equal to minus f minus t and this is the condition for a signal to be odd signal so we can say that our signal ft is real as well as odd so ft is a real valued signal and it is odd in nature and we know when this happens the corresponding Fourier transform is imaginary and odd so option c is the correct option so this is all for this lecture the question was not at all difficult i have taken this question because it appeared in gate 2014 exam and you can observe we can easily solve the questions after having all the discussions on Fourier transform so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.